Yeah, I'm Matty. It's telling me I've got a poor connection here. Yeah, it's all right. It'll cope. Good day, Tabu. Viraj, you're back. Uh, yeah, uh, why, why so? Uh, just scroll up. I've, I've listed a few places you can find it. Um, yeah, I'll copy and paste that in. A good call, Nick. To zone, yeah, yeah. As much as I'd like to see uh, Kyron get in there, yeah, it's, it's it's not looking much like he's gonna uh, he's gonna do it, is it? Ruben. the boy. What's happening? It's not my it's end. Not I've got the best connection I've had for weeks. For weeks. I don't really think I, I complained to, complain to them last time. On the screen, mate. It's on the feed. Oh, they don't want to see that. Take that. Uh, Nick, the the frame hasn't yet started, and Dave's just having some technical glitches. She's not good. It's a, it is literally, it's about to start. They're going to be coming out any second. Coming out any second now. Hong Kong smart boy. They're just doing the introductions. Yeah. Okay, so if anyone can give us a thumbs up that they can hear me. Well, the now. BBC think. I can hear you. Terminator, you never know, do you? That's the that's the thing. Um, the BBC are just saying pretty much who you are. Yeah, Matty, that is my son. Hello? Tony? Tonic. Um, yeah. <laughs> he, he, did, he didn't get any run at all, did he? Um, which is a shame. As Zebra, as we can't show the, the match itself, but if you um, have a look on google you should be able to find a few alternatives this is the top result yeah and my phone just picked up me saying google so who thinks that this will go beyond one frame tonight
Terminator, I agree. He should get seven. He still has yeah. the game. Rory Rogers is back in. And yeah, Terminator he probably should have done the record by now, shouldn't he? Most well, unlikely. Rob Walker's just doing his thing. Yeah, introductions now. The warrior is entering the crucible. Fnatic, what what site is that? B E T E sixty five. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, Q Star. It's the final hasn't been the greatest. Yeah, Q -Star, of standards. Yeah. Uh, I was saying to Tony earlier, the frames have sort of followed suit, haven't they? Where Kyron, Kyron's got in, but because his positional play ain't the best, it's always a bit loose. He's always fighting, isn't he? So he'll yeah. miss or fall out of position. And, and then... my chicken's not in the oven. Ronnie does mine? the counter. Yeah, Terminator, it is. It's it's not about just attacking, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> to be honest, haven't they got to get two more oh. centuries for the sponsor to cough at 25 grand to Jesse Mays? Um, it's not really looking like it's going to happen, is it? No, Ben Hutchinson, you're probably right. It's, um, let's see, it's 7.37pm. Uh, so, um, over by quarter past eight. What do we think? Yeah, it's, it's a shame, isn't it, that Kyron's just, he's not took his chances well and it would have been a lot more of a competitive final, wouldn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a shame for him. Good break. He's put him near the back cushion. It's not left him the one of the um, the reds that typically comes out. So Ronnie's playing a good one himself. Need to do the scoring, Dave. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Good one. Yeah, Ben. Um, there could well be uh, a Winston replay. That's nice. Pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> uh, there could well be, uh, yeah. A bit of nerves. It's, 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 it's natural when you first get to your um, first uh, final, I suppose, isn't it? Brian, um, we, we can't show it, but... Uh, Google and have a look for them, particularly the last one. It would be good if Kyron does knuckle down and get a couple of frames out. Scoreboard's just gone on. They're, they've just started, nobody's scored. Ronnie might be on here. And he is. But mm. don't think he's on the pink. Oh, no, I he's on the he pink. Is, yeah. So, uh, but it won't be a one four seven. <laughs> so he's in straight off. Yeah. Yeah, Martin. Um, yeah, he's he certainly is gifted, and he can't disagree. Andre yeah, yeah, 20 minutes. Terminator. Might be less than that, mate. I think Ronnie should oh. play left-handed to give the others oh. a chance. Oh, he's <laughs> missed a sitter he of does. a black into the corner. That's the problem. Queuing's awkward, mate. Queuing over a red. Slightly, yeah, but 
you know, you'd expect him to get that one. Hopefully Karen sinks this, which he has done, but he's buried in the... Uh, it's, it's not going his way. He's scratching his head now. Um, he's in the cluster of reds, yeah. snooted on every colour. It's not good, is it? Brian, the, the frame score is 8 to 17, um, so in frames, and it's, it's now uh, 6 points to 1. Sorry, eight points to one. And um, Wilson is snookered. Haven't got the match stats. Um, the the pop percentages, Mushtaq, they're not, not so great. Um, no good. Karen got out of that and he's left, he's left running a long tempter, but he, it's, it's literally the only ball he can go at, so... It's a really good safety, given he was in the, the middle of the pack himself. Yeah, he's played a nice shot there, hasn't he? Yeah. He's he's, he's going to go for it, obviously, because uh, he's got it. But he's got nothing to lose, hasn't he? Ronnie sinks a nice long red there. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's win going to be the first great news of this year. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Second that. probably right, aren't you? Um, Still love to have seen Kyron do it. Yeah, I think the just the occasions okay. got to him a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Andre eleven one now. He just sank the yellow. It's nicely on the uh, the red that's at the top of the table. Should get him on the blue. No, he's, he's a bit thin. Okay, he's uh, yellow again, but he's going to come round. It's more now a case of if he can drop on something nicely at the other end. And he has. And he should be able to tickle this one in and just pop back up to get the black. So 14-1. Uh, 15-1. It's nicely on the black. A little bit of an angle. to curiosity it would be would be nice hi Gary um, hi Gary yeah Kitsu would be yeah, nice for um, Kyron to win a couple got... just to make the score a bit more respectable maybe paste a screenshot every now and then that's not a bad shot paste the old screenshot mate Yeah, Q action. Mm, more than likely Q star. Um, to be honest, um, are the balls open? Yeah. Um, they are. They're open enough. It's, it's far from perfect because um, it's, it's one of those positions where they're, um, you get in the wrong place and you'll be covered by others. It's, um, it's easy to get into the wrong place. Well, it is for someone of my standard, anyway. Yeah, I think just it's a case of one red, get rid of one red, it frees up another, and it's away he goes, just round the black spot now. I think this is the beginning of the yeah. end. It's looking a lot like it, isn't it? It is. So he's 43 up, he have, um, 75 remaining. Yeah. I've sent you a link to the to the rankings, but they're obviously prior to this tournament. Um, Judd is so far ahead. He'll be number one still. Yes, Ben, it does take into number six, um, along with Davis. Ray Reardon, he's got six, I think, as well. Uh, no one here, <laughs> no one here, Joe Davis. But um, <laughs> yeah, just one behind Henry. Uh, 
Uh, 57 ahead, did you say 58 remaining? That's it. Kyron's clapping. That'd be in the nice seeing you, gents. Yeah, that's over. Hi, uh, Roy. Um, yeah, Henry's got seven. You do realise that some of these people have paid like 120 quid to get into this last session. Yeah, that's nuts. You'll be able to pluck the chicken, mate. They do get um, they do get to see an exhibition match, though, don't they? Apparently, uh, yes. Alan McManus is playing Ravi tonight. The BBC presenter. Alan. Alan McManus. Yeah. Um, Alan Taylor does a lot of it as well. Joe Davis, Terminator. Um, he um, he won 15. In fact, he won the first 15. Uh, I've been looking at this lately for um, reason. I've just seen his old... Uh, been to a house um, fairly recently that had uh, used to be his house and it's his table still there. Uh, beautiful old table. Um, yeah, uh, he won the first 15 and then he didn't enter. So he was unbeaten in the World Championship. Dennis, yeah, one sided uh, tonight. Would have been nice if Kyron at least got halfway there. Three of his six world titles have been won with a scoreline 18 8. He beat Graham Dot and Ali Carter, both 18 8 as well. Ugh. And there he goes. Pink and black for the century. Chan Kim. It's finished, Chan. Oh, we uh, misused the knock that century. Yeah. That's it, gents. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a shocker. They're having a good chat here, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe we can put the audio on for the interviews. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Here you go, guys. Go get that chicken, Mr. Off. Yeah, Brian, frame over, match over, competition over. Pujarapani, um, it, it's, it started at um, 19.37 UK time and it's already finished. <laughs> I tell you what, mate. I think Kyron should make sure that's not Dennis Taylor's lad with them glasses. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Des. To... Sorry, I can't pronounce it. Thank you for subbing. Des Gear six seventy. You had a, a 90 something break, mate, in the last. See what Kyron has to say. Absolutely incredible run to your maiden final. Only 30 men have ever played in the sports ultimate match. That's how hard it is to get here. You should be so proud of what you've achieved over these 17 days. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm 28 years old. I'm not going to beat myself up too much. I'm playing the greatest of all time. Um, for me, it was a, a dream come true, knowing that I was going to be playing Ronnie in the final. Obviously, you know, you can't respect him too much or else he'll walk all over you, which is what's happened to me today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for me, look, it's, it's brilliant. You guys can hear this. The two most important people to me sat right here. They'll learn from this. It'll make them stronger as well. Listen, you said you rolled over today, but you could have rolled over at 8-2 last night, and you got yourself right back in the hunt late on. You showed some real character last night. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'll always be a fighter. Um, I just, I really struggled in the first session. I think we probably both had a little bit yeah, of a the point finals. there as well. Um, and then I just thought, you know, I just relax, let, let the shackles off, go for it. And um, I was just annoyed that World Snooker wouldn't let me carry on and play the whole match last night, to be honest with you. Well, you mentioned that semi final. I've got to tell, I'm not sure whether your brother Taylor told you this, but he came into the press room and spoke to us and said, at the beginning of that frame, he didn't know whether he was going to wet himself or be sick. And he walked six miles around the circumference of Sheffield. There were millions Great of man. people Thank you for subscribing. to their televisions. You somehow scraped yourself off the floor. That semi final victory to book this maiden final was breathtaking and it will never, ever be forgotten. We're not quite sure how you came through that. I'm not sure myself. Um, yeah, obviously. You know, it, it could well have been Anthony stood here right now. Um, I got Anthony, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit lucky in, in the decider, but yeah, it was a phenomenal match, one that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And um, yeah, hopefully, obviously, me and Anthony will be in my battles here over the years. But um, look, at the end of the day, the night belongs to Ronnie. He's, he was amazing throughout the final. Um, showed his class when he probably wasn't quite shackles and, thanks for um, subscribing still stuck it out so um, he was awesome this morning especially as well I was very impressed well that shows incredible class that you are once again turning Ego, the match is finished it's I'd already like finished mate you, um, on the plus side that probably means you'll find it on YouTube any minute now um, there's a lot of a lot of people it's upload it not live and they do a bit of editing and then uh, and put it put it online um number two in the rankings number six this has been a great journey and it continues to be so thank you very much yes um Ravi, i'm not honestly sure um, Neil Robertson's yeah. got a few quid coming, hasn't he? Day, um, but he was quite active now. He was that early enough, family, so... Friends, um, coach, sponsors, everything. It depends what's it. got to come um, off. I'm a very lucky young man at 28 to have what I have. There's a lot of points that have got to come off as well at the end of this comp. Because it's a two-year uh, ranking list. It's been an honour, and I'm, I'm glad that, obviously, the crowd were allowed into the final. It's, it's been amazing to perform in front of you guys. Bush tuck. It's not, not long now, Bush tuck. It's only a couple of weeks, I think, for the next tournament. In time in September. I can't hand you the silver medal, but would you please step forward to collect your runner up medal? Hugo J, thank you for subscribing. Abdul Rashid, it's already finished. It, it just one frame. Ronnie gives us Walker a hug. Ladies and gents, we are in the presence of sporting greatness. History has been made tonight by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Absolutely incredible. Your sixth world title, and now you are tied with Reardon and Davis. Amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I never really think about it all, because when I was a kid I never dreamed that I'd be here, I just was playing for the fun of the game, I was still trying to play for the fun of it, but to be here and, you know, uh, I've had all them victories and, Alan, you know, so T-Mac, thank it's, it's, you for subscribing. Dream, but it's, it's kind of becoming a bit of a reality as well, so it's nice to be living a dream in, in that sort of way. Yeah. Your last title was 2013, was there a spell during those years where you thought you might never get your hands on the Silver Lady again? Um, uh, yeah, you can never say never, but um, there was a part of me that decided that, you know, I didn't probably didn't play enough and I still probably don't play enough to justify winning, you know, a tournament of this statue, you know, because it is, it's, it's an endurance test and, 
if I'm not really an endurance type snooker player um, because I, I don't compete enough. But you know, uh, the lockdown gave me a chance to play on some decent. You know, because I haven't got a practice facility, believe it or not. So my friend installed a couple of tables in his office in London, so I was able to play on good tables for a change, which was great. And I come here feeling comfortable with my tools, really. So um, I had a half a chance. I never expected to win it, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> Spoken with real modesty for a guy that's lifted it five times and now six. Ronnie, there have been so many great achievements down the years. Your first Triple Crown triumph at the age of 17 in 1993, winning this one after a year off, a thousand centuries. Your 19th Triple Crown title when you won the UK in 2018. Where does this sit in the all time performances of your career? He never it's expected to win it. Near the top, surely. Listen, any world title wins have got to be up there. You know, um, it's just. It's just... It's great to be able to, to win over the 17 days here. You know, you, you come in, you've got to play a lot of solid shots and be solid in, in all departments. I was worried and, for uh, Ronnie you know, because I I he bought my Q action the day before the final for 199 and a pack of yeah, jelly tots. I thought he was screwed. Can I have my Q action back, Ron? <laughs> Um, yeah, he obviously doesn't need it anymore, does he? <laughs> I wasn't using yours. I'd have been using Ben's. <laughs> Good red Joe Davis last night. <laughs> Alan T. Mack, yeah, he may well have done. He's, he's mentioned Joe Davis a lot, hasn't he? Um, in the last uh, in the last week. Thirty-seven ranking titles. I'm happy to be on a, on a, on a, on a that storm's a wife behind me. And you can't get it done. Alan T. Mackin, quite welcome, fella. He's now um, outdone Hendry, hasn't he, on ranking titles? On to total ranking titles, he's on 37 ranking titles, yeah. Fantastic company, I suppose. But um, I think, you know, the way I look at it is, though, like, it's, with, with the record for Hendry, it's like, I, if, if, if I've played more tours than to get there, I think who got there first? I'm not sure, so you'll have to ask some of the stats, but I'm always, if I've played a thousand tours and he's only made 500 and I'm just about beating his record, then I'd rather have speed than his CV, do you know what I mean? So you, you'll have to look at the statistics of that for that. But I suppose my, my thing has been longevity, you know, I kind of, I go in and out of form, you know, my, my, my mind can wander sometimes, but then I just get a little bit of a taste for it. Think, Come on, see if you still got it. <laughs> and start to, you know, try and try and have a go again. Like that's like I have done. And just finally, a word for your fans. They have followed you for decades. This is a, a very difficult time for so many people. Once again, I think he'll be well up for trying to get yeah. Hendry's seventh yeah. world title, wouldn't he? But for everybody who supported so there's always going to be them people that say well he's not the greatest until he matches that yeah it's um but even Henry, I mean, even Henry okay, said I know he's just win but he seems he seems so much more relaxed today than a couple of days ago it's always what he needs to be he needs to be relaxed yeah Cesar, yeah, he's uh, 45 or 46. No, I think he's 45 in December. 1975, he was. Yeah, he's 40. He's 44. Yeah, 1975. Yeah, quite right. Sal Milo, thank you for thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Razu. Um, just uh, just a couple of snooker fans who can't sit and chat with each other in a room. Um, yeah. Although I'm not doing much chatting. So I'm gonna chat over YouTube. <laughs>
No. No, neither have I. Make the screen bigger quick, Dave. Got my little boy, but he... Uh... Here we are. You're welcome, my pool. Congratulations, Ronnie O'Sullivan. You are looking at one of the greatest sports cars this country has ever produced. No doubt about it. It's a nice trophy, isn't it? Lovely trophy. But we really should we really should cherish him to be honest with you. I mean he's got didn't Joe Davis buy that all them years ago? Yeah, Joe Davis bought it. Bought it for the first competition. I think he's the. Uh, I think it's officially the only player to have ever run in three <laughs> separate decades. Bought it for the first competition. And then he won it and, and kept it for 15 years. <laughs> yes, there's a uh, half a million pounds. <laughs> Some going in it. Star, you're, you're, the, um, everyone was checked before going in, uh, so they didn't actually need to uh, have the masks on after, which I think is a bit not convinced it's the right way. Um, but they're, 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 well, they're trying to change the uh, the lockdown. Um, the very fact that yeah. he's got to be up there with the greatest sports stars that have played the sport. And I was saying to you just a few weeks back, I did a radio interview just a few weeks before the two sports stars. Hi, this is Joe Davids naked. Where does watching Ronnie O'Sullivan rank? Don't think he is. <laughs> World Cup finals and Six Nations matches. And I said, right at the very top, it's a seat to come to, to the Crucible and to come and see him play live. And when he's absolutely at it and at his best, well, Mr. Reviewer, if you did indeed put £40,000 on him, you made a few quid tonight. Much sack. That is... Um, it's good that they have managed to get a bit of a crowd in for the final, haven't they? At least, you know, they've got somebody to flash the trophy to and that, and it's a bit of an atmosphere. Showing that trophy off to those fans. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you know, you can say these things to me sometimes. Well done. He wouldn't put the hours in and the club if he didn't mean a lot to him. And to win a six-stand is one heck of an achievement. Hi. He's more of a student of the game. He needs to be able to There we are, guys. That's his uh, his partner. The girl beside Ronnie. She's older than him. Corona champion. Yeah, so uh, you're, probably, you're not wrong there, are you? It's not a bad description. <laughs> Abdul, thank you for sub subscribing. There's only one Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mm. He did well for not having a good Q action. <laughs> yeah. Twenty triple crowns he's got now. Nuts that, isn't it? And he's the only one that chooses not to yeah, uh, just to put the trip the little crown logo on his waistcoat. 
So you made your debut in 1990, he's the class yep. of 1992. When you first saw Ronnie O'Sullivan, was there something special even about him back then? Yeah, he's, he's got it. The first two of these shows used to be in um, Holby City or Casualty as well, didn't she? You know, I've heard all the, the stories about him and what we've seen, you know, what we've seen. I wonder if he'll be, he'll be another seven years before he gets his next. He's the best, get, the, the most gifted sportsman in the world, in my opinion. I'm biased, yes, I'm a snippet guy. But his talent is unbelievable. Watching for his ability to get across the line, and he's done it time and time again. As Alan said, whether it's his triple crown, whether it's indeed now his sixth world title, who knows, he might be up to seeing Henry's title next. Yeah, well, yeah, we've been quiet, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, sorry about being just listening to the interviews. They're showing shots of the championship now on BBC. Yeah. Max Cream, I have no idea if there's any uh, any gay snooker players. I suppose you'd you'd know if, pocket ball. <laughs> I suppose you'd know if he favoured the brown over the pink. <laughs> oh, David! If he's going, David. If he's going up for brown a lot, then you know he uh, <laughs> he bats for the other team. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, tell you what, the uh, the colour on the overlay there was terrible. You could almost think it was that uh, another video company. <laughs> Lucky Licks, hello to Finland. Hi there. Matty V is also from Finland. Yeah, begin with, so definitely been through the ringer, mate. Tube. Um, yeah, Ronnie has one. I'll tell you what, Q Star, I can categorically state without question that Dominic is not. <laughs> based Green eyes, based thanks on for the, serving. The, uh, the, the very attractive ladies he's been out with. Yeah, he's just very flamboyant, isn't he? Very flamboyant. He's got a, and he's got a fantastic singing voice. When we were at the shootout, he burst out a tune, didn't he? Yeah. He, started, he won when he won. Did. did he? Yeah, he won the shootout, didn't he, in Blackpool? Or did he come second? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, he won it. No, yeah, he did. But he was, um, he was concerned about doing it because he, he um, because he's he's sung at such a high level beforehand. Um, he's he's used to doing warm ups. Sort of working up to it, and it was it was very much on the spur of the moment. Yeah, and he sang uh, "My Way," didn't he, Frank Sinatra? Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was it was, it was a, it's a wonderful tournament that for what it is. Yeah. Um, and when it was in Blackpool, it was fantastic because it was just everyone's just around the table, weren't they? Yeah. Um, very much, yeah. like, very much like the Crucible. Right. Like you're, you're on top of the players, aren't you? Looking down into the little yeah, pit. Yeah, even closer in. though. Yeah, it was a cracking venue. Yeah. Great shame. Hi, how many have we got watching here now? Still got three hundred. Anyone got any questions before 305. we? Three hundred and five. Yeah. Before we shoot off. It is one more Yaroslav, um, he's, he'd have to win one more of these, yeah. Um, he's won six, same as Davis, same as Ray Reardon now. Um, but he's won more Triple Crown events than anyone else, and he's won more ranking events than anyone else. Sorry, I can't pronounce that, but thank you for subscribing. Prasad of Hazan. Thank you for subscribing <laughs> since day one of a go. I would butcher it, so I didn't even attempt it. What football team? Football, Joe Ince. I don't follow the football at all. Um, when, when I when I was a kid, 
uh, used to follow Liverpool because that's what all my mates did. Um, but as a as I've grown old, I've just lost patience, partly from watching snooker. To be honest, um, the snooker's full of it, it's just honesty end to end, isn't it? Uh, if you touch a ball, you, you hold your hand up. It's I, I fouled it. Um, snooker, the diet, it's a, sorry, football. Um, they're just diving on the floor, rolling around, trying to get somebody sent off, and it's just cheating. Um, terrible, hate it. Um, if snooker was done like that, um, yeah, wouldn't be the most interesting ninety minutes of a game, would it? <laughs> Mohammed, the, the match has finished already. Um, it took about 10 minutes. Um, just be thankful you hadn't gone to the... You weren't one of the people in the crowd who paid 120 quid to watch that. Uh, Jim, you doubt that Ronnie will win another? Uh, you can't... You can't rule him out, can you? He's... You know... He played superb that first... Match, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. He just he dips in and out of form now, doesn't he? As he's getting older. Yeah, that that's his his big problem, I think. But he he says that himself. It, it's that inconsistency that that leads to so many issues. Yeah. Yes, Osborne sneaker is for gentlemen. I like rugby as well. Um, yeah, they they uh, they beat the hell out of each other and then then they help them. Help the opponent up off the ground, don't they? And it's um, definitely, <laughs> yeah. It's just cheating doesn't seem to go on in the other sports like it does in in football. And and when they introduced VAR, oh, it's going to interrupt the flow of the game. Surely the guy rolling around for a couple of minutes just trying to get somebody else sent off because they've been somewhere near him, breathing the same air. Um, that's disrupting the flow of the game even more if you ask me so uh, here's a question for you yeah. if McGill made the final do you think he, he would have given Ronnie a better game than Wilson did I think so um, I, I, I think I think he'd probably spoiled it more um, because that's how it's worked for him this and that, that sounds disingenuous. It's how it's worked for him during the course of this competition is to, if his opponent was getting a little bit ahead of him, he'd, he'd just spoil the frame a little bit and tighten it up, didn't he? Mm. So, uh, yeah. Barry Hearn, say, Mishtak, Barry Hearn saying to Ronnie to his face he could have won 10 world titles. He probably could. Seven big I think titles. McGill would have given Kyron a horrific tackle from behind for the fluke. Um, yeah, he, he, he probably would have been sent off for it as well, wouldn't he? Um, yeah, and Kyron wouldn't have been rolling around because it would have hit him hard. The thirty-first dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Rodney v Higgins. It's a shame it really, Higgins, because him and Mufflin's match was great, wasn't it? Uh, if you'd have gone mm. past Mufflin, you'd have fancied him for the final, wouldn't you? But looking when he when he was in that yeah. little cluster with the qualies qualifiers, I thought, oh, he's definitely going to make the final. Somebody won. Somebody won. Hmm? Ronnie won. Yeah. I thought it was going to be the fourth uh, fourth year on the track. Cricket crazy, the match has finished. We all fancy a game, Razu. We can't we can't play anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> First win two thousand and one. Yeah, it was one. Yeah. yeah. Nineteen years later, God. So for people in the chat apart from Ronnie who's your favourite player let's find out who uh, people like to see that was definitely team Kyron tonight <laughs> Fazu the the uh, 
presentation ceremony's been and gone. It was we actually we did put it on here because it's it's not um, that sort of thing wouldn't be deemed copyright. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's finished. Gary Wilson, what a player! Um, makes the most of his unconventional cue style, doesn't he? He does. But he's only the the uh, exact. He's the opposite to um, Ashley Carty, isn't he? Ashley's underneath his right eye out here, and Gary's over here. Where do, where are we based? We are in North. Yes, Lakshkazar. Sorry, we are in North Wales in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Although we don't sound Welsh. Lakshkazar, yes, match is ended. Oh, you know, I do like it when uh, the people like Kartikeya, um, you know, it's it's good to good that people remember Paul Hunter for what he was. Um, fantastic player. And Q star Jack Lazowski. He's well, he's still on. The, he's still rising up the rankings, isn't he? So yeah, I'd have to. Uh, I'd have to agree. He's he's good. Really good. I think he's um, got to see that. Is it Steve Peters? If he gets him on board, I think uh, he might be able to do something with him because I think it's all in his head. He's got the natural ability, hasn't he? Yeah. Just he needs to realise when to rate, you know, when to rein it in and stop going for silly balls. How old is Lazowski? He's. I think he's a little bit younger than Trump, isn't he? Because they're good mates. I think they. Grew up together or something. Yeah, he's age 29, mate. Jawad Azil's channel, is it? Thank you for subscribing. I'm sure Tony will uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dream of it, mate. That's that's as uh, good an attempt as I could have made. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's, a, sure there's enough people who'd struggle with your name and mine. <laughs> Lazowski looks amateur. Hmm. I wouldn't, I, no, I wouldn't say. Maybe he's his, a bloody good amateur. Maybe his shot selection and things, but yeah. his cue action's yeah. just superb. Uh, final was Selby versus O'Sullivan, Joe. Mm, uh, to be honest, if you could, if you could say the best bits of that and the best bits of the um, Wilson McGill match, that would have been. A cracking final. Yeah, I think we we were spoiled with quite a few. Giorgio of Rome, is it? The nice over there. We were spoiled with quite a few Andrew matches, weren't we? Right. And just the the final just never lived up to what we were hoping. What's your opinion on Ding Zhengui? How are you, Ding? Oh. <sighs> One day, I'd like, I'd love to see him win because the pressure of expectation on his shoulders from China is huge, isn't it? Um, massive. Gazanva. So it'd be nice Ahmed. if he managed to do it. Thank you for subbing. Yeah, I'm seventy-two. Stephen Lee, um, fantastic, fantastic Q action, like you said. Um, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Got to agree with you there. Serious business getting Ronnie to get an eighth before he retires. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, be interesting to see how he gets along because um, Mark Williams has made it very clear that he's actually not interested in retiring. He thought he was. And then he's... Um, yeah... They were saying that the semi-finals... Oh, yeah, where are the Trump fans? Yeah. They, were, they were saying <laughs> that the semi-finals, that's the first time that two semis have both gone to deciders. Hmm. Possible. But there were, Possible. Two, there were two cracking semi-finals, though. We were spoiled, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Raul... Um... Yeah, Wilson. As he said himself, because of his age, he's not he's not concerned. 
that he that the final went against him this time. He's, he knows he's got many more years to uh, uh, to have a go at it. But yeah, it, it was it was um, his weakest performance, I think. Carter Kea, um whatever happened to Zhao Zing Tong? He's a, he's probably one of my favourite Chinese players, actually. I think he's uh, just really attacking. He's a good player, isn't he? I'd fancy him over any yeah. any other of the Chinese to like sort of be the the next big one from China. We should start our own podcast, Tony. Something to think about. <laughs> it's practically what it is, isn't it? Yeah. What does uh, people think of Selby saying that Ronnie was disrespectful, not just to Selby, but to the game after the semi-final? I'm sorry, but you... See, for me, you know, at the end of the day... Go on. Well, I, you know, Selby's tactic was to try and, you know, dig deep, wasn't it, and play him safe, slow him down as he was coming back at him. That's Selby's tactic most of the time, isn't it? But you can't dictate how someone else plays. It's up to them, isn't it? So if he wants to smash him, then, you know, he's, I know he's thrown caution to the wind and it's a very risky tactic, isn't it? But it paid off, didn't it? Yeah. I don't think he disrespected um, him. See, no, I mean, I, at the end of the day, everyone's got an opinion, everyone's entitled to an opinion, aren't they? And if that's if that's how he was looking at it, um, and seeing the shot that Ronnie was playing, then that's his opinion, isn't it? It's, it's. I I don't. I can see why he said it, but similarly, having listened to what Ronnie said after about um, not particularly liking the miss rule, um, yeah, I can I can see why he's done it all, why he didn't like it. And it was it was good, and you know we noticed that last night, didn't we? That there was that one incident uh, where Karen popped the red, ended up right in the middle of the pack with a horrible route out, and um, Ronnie could have called a miss, could have or was given a miss, and he could have could have uh, had him put it back, but decided not to, probably because of what he'd said the night before. But um, yeah, you know, fair dues, he stuck to his guns, didn't he? Yeah. He has said in that interview about when McGill was snooker behind that yellow and uh, he's playing down, there's a black over the corner blocking it and he was just playing onto this red and he had so many yeah. attempts at it until he... Uh... Yeah. And Ronnie said, you know, he's just... He goes, I'm not prepared to just be tapping balls, trying to... You know, you can clearly see that he's making a valid attempt. He wants to hit that red and, like, he just doesn't agree with the miss rule completely, does he? Yeah, this is this is where the, I mean, the rules was put in place because people started, they were getting good enough to decide where they were going to leave the white to make it awkward. So the rule was put in place so they could be put back uh, rather than just, you know, they, they were literally looking at it saying, I'll put it there, there's a safety on, either he'll take it or I'll take it. Um, there's no pot on. So, yeah, they, they, they put the, the rule in place for that. But the rule does as we all know, state you've got to make a valid attempt. And it's a, a valid attempt by a... Yeah. Yeah. ...for colours that were behind him where he was stood. Not only was he facing the wrong way, he couldn't even see them out of the corner of his eye. They were behind him where he where he was having to stand. So, you know, it was obvious. It was a it was a pretty valid attempt. It wasn't far out. Um, so yeah, it's good and good of Ronnie not to put it back. But the rule isn't does he hit it? No, put it back. The rule is did he make a valid attempt to hit it? And that kind of gets lost on a lot of people. Um, when I'm playing in the Welsh system. The other year, I, I, I called one guy for a miss once, and the next time I thought, you know, because he, he, again, he's playing away from what he was trying to hit. 
fair enough. Um, he got close the second time. But I played the guy um, a couple of competitions later and, and ended up putting him back five or six times because there was one easy out that if he'd missed would have left me on, so he didn't take it. So he tried a, the more complicated one all the time. And he was yeah. literally just off a side cushion and into the ball, but he would have left it on. Didn't want to take the shot. So, Anib, yeah, thanks for in the main. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Anib Gilani, he's, he's here again. Why do it's you right? think Ronnie yeah, played so you know, bad it's yesterday, about... second session? I think all this talk about is because clearly last night he was time. He wasn't timing the ball, was he? he was, his arm was all over the place. He couldn't no. cue properly. And sometimes when you just, you know what the game's like, you talk yourself into things, don't you? And I think he's just been going on and on about his cue action. He actually, yeah. <laughs> it was the worst I've seen him play. But then Kyron played really well last night as well. Yeah. And he was unlucky to not get to... Uh, Nine seven, wasn't it? Was it nine seven? Yeah, ten. Yeah, it was. What did it finish? Ten seven. No, it finished ten seven. It would. It was nearly nine eight, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Nine eight. Yeah, I'd love to get into the mind of O'Sullivan Terminator. Be hell of a place, wouldn't it? I reckon it might be kind of busy. Um, seeing what you know, trying to work out what what he's he's seeing when he's going to the table. Yeah, I'll have a thing. Ronnie's lawyer saying he exercises freedom of speech. He did. He did. Definitely. <gasps> Hi, Mohammed. Hi. So all in all, it's been quite a good tournament, hasn't it? It's been lots of close matches. It has. But we all know how it has, it has good, been good Ronnie is. Like if, when he's leading, he's like he's a, probably the best front runner out there, isn't he? Yeah. That's well, certainly a thing. Gets ahead and. You start leaving daylight, getting between you and him, and that's it's it's yeah you're just not gonna uh, not gonna get back, are you? No. Right then, I think we're gonna leave it. Yes, there. Jim. I think there's an element of Selby beating himself on that one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's uh, face all loser, okay. wasn't he, with that? But yeah, for anyone that's subscribed, if you just keep an eye out on the channel, obviously the Worlds is finished now. Um, the next event is the Championship League. I think it starts middle of September. So we might get together and do another little watch along. I know if it goes by the original Championship League, not like the revised one they did just before the Tour Championship, I think they're only best of fives, aren't they? So yeah, it might... Mind you, it'll be... That if even if they were best of fives, the watch along would be uh, longer than this. What this stream is. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. A couple of questions though in here, mate. Yeah, go on. Selby's improved haircut. Yeah. Yeah, can't can't argue with that, Alan. And uh, Luke, um, how long do you see the class of ninety two going on for? Well. <laughs> I reckon we still got a few. To be years, fair, yeah. because of who they are. Uh, I reckon, yeah, you've got a good five years or so. Actually, Definitely. Q-Star's got a good point there. The seniors... Seniors start... on Wednesday. And I reckon if we did the Jimmy White... Uh, yeah. If we did Jimmy White watch along, that'd get good viewings, wouldn't it? Jimmy defending him. <laughs> <laughs> Q-Star. Oh, that's cruel. Um, Hopefully they turn the air sure it's off because it... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they turn the aircon off in the, the crucible, otherwise it'll be be like a dead rat on the table. Yeah. So yeah, we might yeah, do something then during these will. seniors. 
Yeah. That'll be a big comp, that one. Um, shame that Tony got, Drago is not coming over. Um, he's he's done the right thing. He's, he's done and, it because uh, of his health. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, he had, he had a heart problem a couple of years ago, didn't he? So he's he's looking after his own health. But since he actually said, "That's it. I'm not coming over." They've also added Malta to the UK quarantine list, so he'd have to quarantine for 14 days. Just to come yeah, in. Yeah, it's not not worth it, is it? Well, Martha, he would, thanks wouldn't for actually the, uh, kind words. be able to play. Yeah, I'll have a look then after this stream, see what the schedule is, if they've even done it yet, and take it from there. But I think Ken Doherty's playing, isn't he? Stephen Hendry, um, obviously Jimmy White. Yeah, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of big names. Joe Johnson. Yeah, I watched a bit of it last year, actually. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be some good matches, isn't it? Do mm. with a few more players, huh? Right then, guys. I think we'll leave it there. So, thanks for all joining in in the chat. I'm sure most of us are happy that Ronnie's got his sick foil title. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it would have been nice to have seen Karen get one, but uh, his time will come. His time, for sure. Luke, yeah, he's he's well, he's he'll get a few weeks off, not long. Um, wouldn't surprise me if he didn't uh, go in the next tournament. Yeah, that's probably how we'll get over it. Yeah, he won't play in the Championship League, will he? It'll be... Um... He only usually plays in the big ones, doesn't he? So I know he usually plays in the yeah. four, what are they, home nation ones. Let's have a look when they're on. Ravinda, the, the match is finished, mate. Um, Ronnie won. Uh, he won the first frame of the evening to, to win 18-8. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it took him about 10 minutes. I don't think we'll see Ronnie now until October for the English Open. Because between then and now, about right. you've got two Championship Leagues and the European Masters. And that's not a very big money event, I don't think. People like Jimmy Robertson win them events. No disrespect, like. Yeah, it seems about. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't think he'd uh, don't think he'd think it was disrespectful. Don't worry. Just the, not many of the big names enter it. No, they don't. I'm sure Selby will be. Yeah, they don't seem to. Well, happy that Ronnie's got a sick world title, only. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cosmic small barrel. That's a, that's a that's a hell of a name, mate. It's a hell of a name. <laughs> right then, guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks for joining us. And we'll catch you soon. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Goodbye. Ta -da. Before I leave, we love snooker. Oh, you were. Oh, you. You were wearing that. Yeah. I love uh, snooker. Had mine on, didn't I? Look at me. That I hate snooker. Stay safe, guys. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, you have. Give him a wave, Bye, son. Give him a Ta -da. wave. Goodbye. Stay safe from COVID-19. So that'd be a good idea. See you. Are you good? Shut up.